Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to cover how to adjust and uh, customize your different uh, facial expressions uh, for your Daz character when you import to iClone. Uh, so you might remember this character uh, from the uh, previous Daz import tutorial. Ah! So what? This is the animation that I created me. in just a couple of minutes using the uh, facial puppet and my, uh, my custom uh, facial puppet profile and 3D exchange there. Now what I want to do is go into the facial puppet tool and I'm going to close down these advanced options here. And if I preview, I'm going to press the erase button to clear all the facial features. And if I just select the nose and preview that, you can see that this is my character's nose movement. If I go down on the uh, y-axis, you can see that uh, my character will scrunch his nose here. Now what I want to do is I want to make that scrunch a bit more pronounced. I want to make it more exaggerated. So uh, for example, if I go into the edit property, you can see the value is already at 100. And if I press 2 and go into the advanced options here, you can see uh, if I go up to uh, number 12 here, you can see the nose scrunch. If I, for example, put this uh, negative Y value to 100 and I go back and uh, try it again, it won't change at all because it's already the value is already maxed out. So what I can do, I want to take this character that I have originally in Daz, and I'm going to show you there's, a, there's two different ways that you can adjust it. One of the ways is in Daz using the facial uh, expression uh, blend shapes in Daz, and the other way is in 3D Exchange as well. I'm going to show you both ways here. Um, so I'm going to go back into uh, Daz Studio, and here's my original character here. Now if I go to uh, frame 12, if you recall that frame 12 is the uh, nose scrunch. Frame 12. There we go. There's my nose scrunch. Alright, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our uh, face key uh, sequence list here. And you can see that number 12 is my indeed my nose scrunch. So what I need to do is I need to adjust that uh, 12th frame in Daz. So let's go back to Daz here really quickly. And in Daz, what I want to do is maybe go over to the uh, shaping, or sorry, rather the posing here. And I want to adjust, I uh, go into the pose controls here in my head, and we'll go to expressions. And what I want to do is I want to add some anger to this nose scrunch. So I want to make it more pronounced. So I'm going to increase this anger slider. And you can see as I do that, my uh, my model or my character gets that's a very angry looking nose scrunch. So you can see uh, that looks about good. I'm going to use a maximum value. So that's going to be my new nose scrunch. I want to make it more exaggerated. So that's all the editing I'm going to do in Daz here. And I'm just going to go and uh, export that again. The same way I did previously. I will call this uh, Beach Dude 2. And we'll go ahead and save that. And of course, the uh, same export options as I had before. Just make sure you have this uh, single uh, rule on. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And that'll export uh, my character the same as I did previously. Now what I'm going to do in 3D Exchange is you can see we have this uh, we have this angry expression. So it creates a lot more anger, a lot more uh, expression in the, in the nose scrunch. And what I'm going to do is in 3D Exchange, I'm going to further modify that. Um, and we'll uh, show you the difference later on. You can see again here that it's going through the timeline and uh, exporting all of those different uh, blend shapes. And so once this is finished, we'll load them directly into 3D Exchange and replace the uh, replace the old dude. Not really old, but just our uh, previous character. All right, so we're good to go now, and I'm gonna get out of Daz here, go to our desktop. You can see there's a uh, Beach Dude 2.fbx. So what I want to do now is drag this guy into 3D Exchange. There we are. And um, we don't want to export this data right now. And of course, uh, make sure the import animation is selected. Okay, so we're not going to be using that uh, same custom profile that I created before. That's why you see the uh, ridiculous expression on his face. Uh, we're just going to be basically focusing on this nose scrunch exclusively. And just to give you the technique on how you can uh, adjust it. And of course, we want to select yes for this. And once we go into my model, you'll see that uh, once I go into the expression editor, that the nose scrunch will be the only thing that's different from the original uh, from the original DUF file that I dragged into my character. So we'll go into the expression editor here, and in the uh, muscle tab, we're going to go down to uh, go up to nose scrunch here, and you can see there's my new nose scrunch. Now, if you recall. 
I imported in a DUF file that uh, contains all of the uh, face keys uh, for different facial expressions from iClone in DAS. So if you're not familiar with how to get to this point, you might want to check out our previous tutorial on how to import your DAS character uh, into iClone. Alright, so this nose scrunch, what I can do here is I can further enhance this using these uh, blend shapes. If I go down to the uh, bottom here, you can see that it you can see that it added a, a new value here, the angry value for the blend shape. So if I take that all the way down, you'll see that uh, he's definitely not very angry there. But uh, you can adjust the amount of uh, anger that you want in your in your character. So he looks very angry there. So we'll just keep that one right there. Maybe we just want to close the mouth a little bit, or uh, want to um, close that slightly, and uh, maybe it looks even more angry. Anyways, you can uh, totally adjust this uh, the way you'd like. We'll just keep the nose scrunch like that for now. And we'll just close this down. And we can uh, go into iClone. And I want to make sure that we're not, we don't have this character selected because I want to show the difference um, before I apply it to iClone. So we'll go back into 3D Exchange. And in 3D Exchange, we can select Apply to iClone. And what that'll do is that'll apply my character so you can see now there's two characters, so I'll just uh, move this guy over here. The new one. He just duplicated himself. Holy cow. Alright, so we have the two characters right now. And what I want to do is try and get as close in as I can. And I'm going to compare the uh, motion puppet, the uh, facial motion puppet here for the two models. Okay, so we'll uh, bring that over here. Maybe we can bring this model a little bit closer into his brother there. Don't be shy. Let's rotate him a little bit. Same with this guy. Alright, just so we can compare their uh, facial expressions a little better. Alright, so there we get a little bit more of a closer view there. Alright, so now the uh, character on the left is selected, and you can see if I uh, use the, uh, if I erase again, I just select the uh, nose and preview, you can see that that's the uh, normal uh, nose scrunch expression there. So I'm just going to go ahead and record that. Ah! Oops, we need to erase that previous animation first. Let's press Control Z. And we'll uh, right click my model, remove all animation. Okay, so again, uh, try that one more time. We'll erase all of this stuff. Just select the nose. You can see I can bring that down. So let's go ahead and record that. There's my nose scrunch. Alright, so the uh, model on the right, let's do the exact same thing. We'll select him, same profile selected, and record. You can see there's his nose scrunch. Alright, so let's uh, play back and we'll see the uh, comparison between the two brothers here. You can see that uh, one nose crunch is definitely more pronounced uh, than the other one. Alright, so that's basically, uh, that's basically it. That's how you can go into uh, uh, 3D Exchange. Uh, you can modify your character's facial expressions in Daz and in 3D Exchange. Um, so go ahead and have fun. Do that on your own time. And uh, hope you, hopefully you can create some pretty cool looking uh, characters and some expressions.